we are at the Speaker Design Competition with Parts Express. Why don't you tell us about the competition that's happening today? It's, it's whatever you bring, you can use. So however you can build it, design it, power it, whatever's up to you. Uh, is this your only project this year? Yeah, this is the only one I answered and uh, I had a lot of fun making it. Great. Uh, would you mind telling us about it? You bet. So um, I entered the $200 or less category and I'm using the Tangban W61721 uh, because I wanted to produce a speaker that could make the most bass possible. And then I'm using this uh, Tiffany little horn tweeter. Uh, it's the TC25. Uh, one of the cool things that I did is um, I used constraint layer dampening on the front baffle. And so there's actually two uh, rubber layers separating three separate baffles. And it resulted in a, a very uh, acoustically you know, non-resonant uh, front valve. This year I'm by myself, so I couldn't lift it. So I came up with a fully cleat. Eight foot eight inch woofers uh, sealed in a sealed box. Um, this is a BG Neo 8-S, which I don't think you can get anymore. The computer is running um, Ultimate Equalizer software from Basio, which Parts Express sells. Why don't you tell us about our, your project today? Sure, so uh, my project, uh, the speaker that I brought is called the Nucleus and the goal of that speaker was to design a s small speaker that sounded as good as possible. I'm really happy with the results because one, it sounds fantastic, it does the bass well, does the highs well, um, it's flat to 45 hertz with an F3 of you know, 42 hertz and it sounds real powerful once you put it in a room, like you feel that there's, there's a sofa in the room. This is not but a wave generator, and it's all about phase. And so if you're out in the ocean, the waves come in all directions. If they ever hit together, the wave goes to China. My idea here was more drivers, less money. There's 44 drivers here. There's 20 and two, but the mirror reflection, what you see is what you hear. And that's in the book. You don't have to trust me, but I've tested it. There are 22 free drivers laying in that floor. That's the first I did it, I was spray cans and it just looked terrible. And I tried to sand it off. And when I sanded it, it got better and better. So I went back to the store, bought another can, did it again. This is the third kid out there. And how many times have you competed in this uh, this competition? Uh, this is going to be my sixth year. Your sixth year? And I saw uh, you've, you've definitely got a colorful one this time. Right. We've uh, we've had these speakers, first time I've seen these speakers in a project. Right. Right. Uh, how about you tell us about your project this time? Uh, I got a, I was challenged to use these uh, colorful Titans uh, woofers. And I got to tell you, they were uh, pretty unusual. Uh, wasn't sure I could make them work, but we tried them in an open baffle and they seemed to do real well. So I, I'm real happy with the sound. Uh, they're paired with the uh, Tangban two inch drivers and should be a lot of fun. This is an idea of speaker that I've kind of uh, been thinking about quite a while. This design uses this acoustic lens and this acoustic reflector to create a semi-omnidirectional um, sound field, a more equal power response in, in, in the room. Crossover frequency is about 1,000 hertz, and it's all 6 dB per octave, act, um, 6 dB per octave first order network with basically no other corrections. It's a 
a, a very simple crossover. Three components, a capacitor, inductor, and a resistor.